Man, this is the thing, okay? I'm going to let y'all know something. Been a juggalo since fucking 2004, since Hell's Pit, right? Took me years to really get down the whole family aspect, right? Because a lot of fucking ninjas, especially back then, at least that I met in my area, I could only speak about Florida juggalos, about Newport Richie juggalos, all right? Mostly, because that's who the, the majority of, the, of interactions and shit of motherfuckers, that's, that's where they stayed at. And a lot of them did treat it like a fucking gang. I have family members that have joined gangs. It's not my thing. Okay? So it took me a little while to really get down and uh, understand shit. Right? Even though I was into fucking any, you know, anything that ICP did. I met fucking, um, I got into Tech 9 through them. Cottonmouth Kings through them. And, um, and so, you know, little shit here and there just, just made me appreciate the family more and more and made me love the family, right? But even then, especially back then, and I'm, I'm even talking about, um, you could go as far forward as like 2008, 2009. Like I've told y'all many a times when I was on probation, cops would think that I was in the gang just because they would see the hatchet man fitted, blah, blah, blah. The, the chain, whatever the fuck, right? I'm going to let y'all know something. I don't think I'm anybody. And I try not to get into shit. I went to the gathering for the first time this year. Y'all know. Y'all know how the experience was. Ended up being hella dope, right? When I believe something in something enough... I let it be known, I put it out there, and I wholeheartedly rep that shit. I'm not a motherfucker to be jumping. I'm, I've never been one to jump on trends. i never been one to jump on what I thought everybody thought was cool. And this goes all the way back to grade school. Class clowns, I always saw, okay, y'all doing it for attention. Y'all doing it because this asshole said something that was sort of maybe a little funny. Everybody laughed because they think that he's cool. And then y'all motherfuckers started laughing with him. Trying to perpetuate the shit, right? Jumping on bandwagons, right? How we call. I never been that. I never like you could I could break this down as far as even gaming. PlayStation Xbox. Everybody was going for PlayStation. When them twos really started coming out, I went for Xbox because I just hate going following the fucking current. Of what everybody's doing. You see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm trying to get at? So I don't just back something up. I don't just rep something because I think it's going to win me cool points. Because I feel like everybody's doing that shit. Especially at a time when Juggalos were getting ridiculed left and right. Okay? When Bang Pow Boom came out. Everybody was fucking clowning him. All this shit. Right? So I've never been one to do it and I try to keep my mouth shut. I try to stay out of shit. I know there's, I've met a lot of you motherfuckers at the gathering that I admire so much because of the level of dedication. Because this shit at this point spans generations. You got families, you got dudes that are grandparents, juggalos that are grandparents that they kids now have kids. And it's on some hardcore shit. Tatted up. Whole body. All six joker cards. I mean the whole fucking legacy of the dark carnival is on your skin forever. Like that shit. It meant something to see that. And it totally reinvented. How do you say that? Um, whatever. Like it revitalized my faith in the juggalo family. The whole community. And for you, Randy, whatever the fuck your name is, jumping on, acting like you know, and this is this is what I was trying to get at. I try to stay quiet, but I see some of you fucking morons. And some of y'all was at the gathering too. Don't get it twisted. I see some of you fucking morons speaking so stupidly. 
that I feel that I have no choice but to put my two cents because I'm not a fucking moron. And I refuse to be represented in a dumbass way with something that I'm so passionate about because I felt the power of the dark carnival. It's in my soul. It's been touched me. And it'll, for, it'll be a forever thing. Something that I educate my kids on. Something that I want them to understand how important, how beautiful it is. The fact that we get to appreciate individualism, community. And for someone to come over here and be like, oh, it's just a fan base. Oh, y'all getting ripped off. Oh, nobody's fucking perfect, okay? Anybody that's a fucking millionaire, anybody that's fucking ascended levels, broke through the roofs, okay? They're not fucking saints. At the end of the day, everybody got to get paid. At the end of the day, if you are smart enough to break out of poverty, if you are smart enough to really see past the smoking mirrors of society, and you're a very blunt person as we jugglers are, because you got to be thick skinned, you can't be a little pussy bitch. You understand that not everybody's going to get it. You know what I mean? We've all had them homies that got laughed at by everybody. That you know that they're not all there. That they all say dumb shit. But we love them because they're showing genuine love. Right? That's what goes on with us. You'd be a damn fool to think that every motherfucking juggalo... Is on some right shit that they know what they're talking about. That they're not lame. Look at Boy Blue. Child's Play Ninja. All these motherfuckers that you know. <laughs> you know. It's like it's a fucking family. And like with every family you got shady characters. You just take it for what it is. Yeah, yeah, you know. Because you're not an asshole. You're not heartless. We know to some degree... What it's like to be an outcast, to be a black sheep. We know this. You think that if I really gave a fuck about what my real family thought, I'd be looking like this? No. I'd be in some fucking dress shirt. I'd be, you know, with my glasses. I'd be a fucking, uh, trying to be a goddamn doctor or some fucking shit. But I choose to go against shit because, like I said, I don't conform and I don't feel the need to be accepted by anybody. Juggalos included. Okay? You see that shit? But even with that, even with whatever, still, at the end of the day, it's what I feel and what I could resonate with. Violent James Shaggy too dope. It may never fucking talk to me one on one. I may never like really have like a conversation with them, but I always admire them, admire what they stand for, their individualism, and their business savviness. Like it's it's so many components to them that makes them up, and they've shed light. And now we got DJ Clay, we had Keegan, we got like the the shit just trickled down so damn much, and it's touched so many people. It is impossible to not recognize that shit. And unfortunately, though, a lot of these morons that talk shit about juggalos, they're not integrated like that. It took me years to get to the gathering, right? And now that I have, I kick my own ass because I'm like, bro, you should have all those times where I was on the cusp of saying, you know what? Fuck this. If I lose my job, I lose my job. But of course, we're like, oh no, I gotta be the responsible one. What, what, what's everybody gonna think if I fucking lose my place because I wanted to go fucking to a concert, a four day concert, this and that? Not realizing the magnitude of it, not realizing how deep it goes and how beautiful the experience is. And now that I have, I'm like, fuck, dude. I look back at all the footage. I love wa just watching gathering videos and all this shit. And I'm just like, damn, dude. Like, beautiful shit. Beautiful. So now that I, I've been there and I've seen it, I understand how important it is to just 
be that integrated and to really open yourself up to meeting all these motherfucking ninjas. All these motherfuckers. That, most of the motherfuckers I vibed with at the gathering, I never met. None of the on online people, aside from, of course, liking and shit. None of them. So, I'm grateful for it. Because it, it, it was incredible. It was just mind-boggling, right? I got to see that those that saw that we made an effort to be there, you get that much more respect and validation. It's beautiful, right? Even though we don't live for it, it's still beautiful. Because, especially with Juggalos, you don't get to just waltz in and act like you're somebody. You get put to the test and you get called out. So, that was a beautiful thing. But for some of y'all to sit there just running your mouth, acting like we're a joke, like we're not a community, that's bullshit. Bullshit. Brandy. I bet your punk ass never been to a gathering. I bet all you do is just take here, there, and just fucking talk that shit like you somebody. You're not. And there's some people that take it way too, like, by the book type shit. Not everybody's going to fucking vibe out to straight up the first three Joker cards, the first four Joker cards. After a while, people grow. It's like my dog Mike that lives in Maine. He straight up said it, and I respect him so much because he said, he said, bro, I'm not fucking 13 no more. Okay, after a while, certain shit gets old. I like shit from 08 on up. I like shit from this. One of my favorite albums, aside from fucking Hell's Pit and Ringmaster, is The Tempest. And I bet a lot of you motherfuckers are like, what? What? I'm sorry, but I fucking love it. It, it I love it. I can't help it. So, you're not going to be liked by everybody. You're not going to be accepted by everybody. Or they may not see you a certain way. But I'm going to tell you all this. Especially with the whole FBI shit. is one of the my openers. The march on Washington. Was another big thing. Monumental. Brought everybody together. On a whole new level. But people downplay it. People water it down they act like it was on some selfish fucking oh they just wanted publicity oh they wanted this how the fuck when we've been ridiculed for so long since day one the fuck would they get out of it what kind of fucking publicity could you fucking accept more ridicule why do you think that it was so successful why do you think that after that everybody that Made fun of Juggalos. That made fun of ICP. That made fun of Psychopathic. We're finally like. Oh. maybe They actually are onto something. They actually this and this. And they would actually listen. Instead of just looking at the face paint. Looking. Or hearing better yet. The music. And just laughing their ass off. It gives you validation because you're yourself and you're standing up for something that you believe in. But a lot of you motherfuckers that love to stir up the pot, that are on some bitch shit. No offense, ladies. We're not talking about ladies. But on some bitch shit, y'all are the problem. Because you're weak little weenies. But I'm not going to stay here just staying quiet because I don't want to piss somebody off. Because I don't, I feel like, okay, who the fuck is you, sick thought? You ain't nobody, motherfucker. I didn't really see you. You not that hardcore with the shit. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm genuine with my shit. I know and I can tell you, yeah, I'm nobody. I make my music here and there, but I'm nobody. But I love this shit enough that if, if somebody's clowning it, if somebody's trying to fuck it up, I'm going to fucking step in. Whether I get shunned or not, whether it's right or wrong, I'm going to give my two fucking cents. Because at the end of the day, I could give my two cents. If y'all feel so strongly about it, I don't hide nowhere. I'm out and about. 
Whether it's at a fucking concert, whether y'all gonna see me next year at the gathering again, I'll be there. I'll be there with a tent this time, because let me tell y'all, fuck that shit. But I'll be there, and I'll forever be there. I've helped homies out. I've given my hatchet man to somebody that didn't have it. The clothes on my back. Money. Whatever. But for y'all to just fucking run your mouth, especially if you've never got to experience, if you never really put that effort to really come out and see us and vibe, like those that are big YouTube personalities that want to show up on the last day of the fucking gathering and act like y'all been there since day one. I'm sorry, but I got to see. I'm. I may. It may have been my first gathering, but I got to see that there's a fucking difference from motherfuckers. And I understand if y'all live close, y'all been to gatherings before. I get that. You don't have to be there all the all fucking four days or whatever. You don't have to attend a parking lot party or that shit. But you got to do it at least one time. And if you're that type that you've never been and you only seize an opportunity for clout, for views, for exposure, and you show up the last fucking day and you like posting all these fucking videos on YouTube, Brandon this, oh, Brandon that. And I get it. And I got to see also that a lot of y'all, especially again, if it's not your first rodeo, I get it. They're, they're sub communities in the gathering. That y'all link up, whether it's RVs, tents, y'all got y'all spot, okay? But I, at least for me, my experience, what I will always speak on is my own experiences. And that was, I was fucking basically floating around. I got to see the lower end of them, not the bald out juggalos. The ones that even at the gathering were looked down on. A lot of you motherfuckers... Gave me stinky looks. I didn't have no tent. I just had my fucking duffel bag. I'm sleeping on the lawn next to a bunch of trash and shit. But I got to meet cool ass people from all. I got invited. Hey, what the fuck? Come on, come chill with us. I'm sorry. A lot of y'all want some swinger shit. That's cool, but not my, not my style right now. Maybe if I would have went 10 years back. Okay, that's one thing. But what I'm getting at is there was a lot of cool ass motherfuckers from everywhere. Whether y'all had the means to be balling out or whether y'all were just like me, just fucking barely made it there and didn't really have shit. My card wasn't working. So I had to like, it, it was just so much dope shit and people looking out for each other that, I mean, there's no denying it. But what really gets me pissed off is a lot of these motherfuckers that just run their mouth. And they want to act like they're somebody. And they want to fucking bring down juggalos. Can't bring down my family. It's impossible. And if I make a video talking about the twisted shit, I may feel a type of way. I like them. I don't like people that, one, gain, they gain this fan base. They live good off of it. Then they turn their backs on us. I hate that shit. And that was a very common theme. It's been a common theme for many a years. But, again, bringing up the little that I know. I saw it with Esham. We could say even Tech because they squashed that shit. I get it. Because I was also like, you know what, fuck Esham. Da, 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 da. At the same time, it sucked because I loved his shit. Twisted, the thing about them is, yeah, okay, they could spit. But... Like, Mono's attitude and shit. Jamie, still. I'm like, man, he was, like, more solid dude. But I just don't like sneaky, indirect shit and all that. Again, I don't... I haven't been to a Twisted show since uh, before they left Psychopathic. Because I went to the American Psychos tour. But I haven't been to their show after that. Because I'm not one to just be... Like I said, I knew what it was. I got the Hatchman tattoo for a reason. And it's crazy because I wanted to get fucking Tex face on me for a long time. But the moment that I saw that, excuse me, he was quick to belittle us just to be on that popular shit, to be on Hot 97, to get that mainstream recognition, which we knew that that was coming because he's been wanting to do it for years. For years. This is 2010 we're talking about. 
I already wasn't liking that shit. It's just not me. And if I'm not wholeheartedly into something, I'm not going to do something that's permanent, something that, that's putting it out there forever. But I did it with Psychopathic. I did it for the Jojo family, for myself included, everybody, because of the love that I had. And I'll forever, I don't do this to speak on popular shit. It could be very unpopular opinion, but it's my fucking opinion. And if other motherfuckers, stupid motherfuckers could run their mouth, so the fuck can I. Because at least I'm not out here mooching on people. At least I'm not out here trying to fucking, uh, uh, um, fuck, I can't find the fucking words. You know, I can't, I can't just cheat people out on shit. I'm not asking for money. I'm not constantly like, hey, bro, I got to get this fucking MXD. I got to get a two for four. Somebody donate me four bucks, man. Fuck. Every single fucking day. Again, when I speak on it, I'm only speaking on the fucking leeches. Not those that are genuine people. So, y'all motherfuckers that's running your mouth like that Randy motherfucker, fuck you. I don't give two shits, but this is a fucking community and it runs deep as shit, especially depending on where you stay at. I saw that and it's respect. I got mad respect. Florida may not have as many juggalos, but listen, go to certain states. I want to go to fucking Detroit because I can't imagine how many fucking juggalos there are and how fucking the devotion is. And the seriousness is to this shit. It's beautiful. And the gathering will forever be the only church I attend. So, whoop, whoop. Sorry this shit was as long as it was. But, um, and I'm sorry that it takes forever. I may not always respond. I like doing this. Once I get the equipment set up, I want to do... Videos where we're actually bouncing shit off debates, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And I, I like just speaking. I don't like writing so much because a lot of the writing gets lost in translation. You don't know the tone of what you're reading. You don't know anything. So call it what you will. But a lot of times if I see enough responses, I'll make a video about this shit and I'll speak on it my damn self. So you could just fucking hear it from my mouth because I don't like the whole writing shit. That's what it is. You already know. Uh, anyways, I'm out. Woo woo. Be safe, y'all. And do what you do. I love y'all.